to the issue, to the, to the individual aspirant. We will require you to pay nomination fees. And the nomination fees are as follows. Those seeking the position of county governor, you will be required to pay 500,000 Kenya shillings. Those wishing to run for member of parliament, and member of parliament include those who want to go to the National Assembly and those who want to go to the Senate, you will pay 250,000 Kenya shillings. Now, sorry, back to the governor. If we have a woman governor candidate, she will pay half what the male government, governor will pay. So she will pay 250,000. Hold on. If this, this team here is out of order, Yamazeni. If a gubernatorial male candidate picks a woman for a running mate, we will reduce their bill by a quarter of what it is. Now, Member of Parliament. Member of Parliament, the fee is 250,000 shillings. But if the candidate or the aspirant is a young person, and young means before, below 35, if it is a woman, if it is a person with a disability, they will pay half that. That is 125,000 uh, shillings. Those running for MCA position, women rep is member of parliament. Uh, women rep will also pay 125,000 shillings. Um, MCS. The MCA position, you will pay 50,000 shillings. Now, if that aspirant is a youth, a woman, a person with a disability, they will pay 25,000 shillings. When it comes to the party list, this time round, for you to be put on the party list for ODM, you will apply. We will not just have people picking their friends and girlfriends, I hear, and boyfriends. We, you will apply, we will assess, we will vet, are you a member of the party? What have you been doing for the party? Do you deserve to be nominated? And you will be ranked. Uh, so for you to be considered for the party list nomination, you will pay 5,000 shillings. in terms of weighing the strength, and if they accept, they give us one candidate. So that is the number one. Two is direct nomination. Direct nomination will have to be justified. It will have to be justified through some scientific method. So we carry out an objective, credible opinion poll. It tells us Joseph is ahead in this particular constituency 
And the number two person from ODM, let's say Joseph has 40% or 41%, you have other people in between, and Catherine, who is the next person in ODM, has 7% or has 12%. We've seen it will be a waste of Joseph's and Catherine's money to actually subject them to a process that will end up wasting the front runner's money. So we are going to do an objective opinion polling that will enable us to be able to tell clearly that out of you six, this is what we have done, this is the method that was used, and it is showing this result. Please step down for this other person. And this is one of the things that was raised in the task force. We were told here, let the party not subject people to a primary when they have cleared their giving this person a ticket.